ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the children of all ages, the one, the only Pittsburgh Steelers alumni, West Virginia Mountaineer, almost heaven. But more importantly, this is my locker mate, <laughs> Terrence Garvin, a.k.a. T.G. T. Jizzle, man, what in the world, man? What's the word with you, baby? Man, what's up with you? Man. Talk to you. How you feel? Bro, we got plenty, plenty that we got to talk about today, man. All right? Because you know they're flirting with some of this schedule dropping stuff, so we're going to have to get, you got to tap in with that. Got some of these matches we ain't feeling all the way. All right? And we also need your thoughts on how many primetime games the Steelers need to have. But we're not there just yet, okay? Because we did have a bombshell, so to speak, that took place right before the show started. Okay. With Arthur Mallet, you know, my Arthur, my Arthur namesake, man. Got released. I've seen that. Now he did ask for the release. We we've seen that come out in the reports as well. But ultimately, yeah. he was released today. Yeah. What were your thoughts on this thing, man? Did you see this coming? Was this a part of the TG script? No, that wasn't part of the I don't think that was part of the script, part of the plan. Mm -hmm. Did you show he asked for it? That's the that, that's the The report so we get we got two reports. We got one report that says he asked for it. Another report that says he was approached about a pay cut first. Okay. So, yeah, you, you catch my joke. It's something in the middle. We'll leave it at that. Where it might have yeah. been, take this pay cut. I ain't taking that pay cut. You ain't going to take the pay cut. Well, you know, release me then. You know how that convo could go. It was definitely something. You know how that convo I'm, goes. <laughs> you don't get cut right now unless something happens. You got to do something bad. Yeah. 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 It's like that time of year. Like, either something's got to happen. Or it's like because you don't just they don't just let you go right now, so it was something. I already, yeah, so I don't know. I don't think it's like a devastating blow. I think right. it's like a all right, like that's tough. That's a person like a solid person. He's been on the team for a little bit. Yeah, you know, He'll build a little bit of what you call that this new culture. Mm -hmm. So it's like, um, I think it. I think it's a it's a it's a body blow. Yeah, you know, it's like oh, all right, that's yeah. tough. Like, cause when when we talked about it, I was basically saying like it doesn't kill anything that you're trying to do per se, but it does just make you a little bit more aware of that slot corner because now one of the guys that we've depended on in terms of the physicality, the run element, the blitzing part, now mm -hmm. that void is gone. Yeah, you got uh, Chandon Sullivan who's more of the coverage guy, but the mallet part is like, man, well, how are we where are we gonna get that part from, man? Um, mm -hmm. So. We basically have been over here troubleshooting, trying to figure out which method we like the best. Whether that be moving these outside corners, flirting with them on the inside, some of these safeties on the team flirting with them on the inside, or do we go shopping? No, I don't think it's a shopping thing. I mean, I think you got plenty of time right now. Like, you're happening oh, yeah. in a time where you got plenty of time. You're about to go through OTAs, you know? You're about to go through, essentially, you still got training camp. You still got a little bit of like a little bit of some summertime. So it's like at OTAs, I'm sure they'll test some stuff out, you know. But that's what made it so crazy. That's what made it so just shocking to me that this happened now that he would even I could understand slightly why my let might ask for the release now. But at the same mm -hmm. time, it's just like, man, it's early in the process. It's early. It's still a lot of time to go before, you know, like week one. Right. You still really got a whole summertime with it because you got, you know, you got OTAs and it's like. You get that news that six weeks off. That's like summertime and NFL mm -hmm. time. And then you come back to training camp. So it's like they get to go see what in OTAs they might do something. They might try to put JPJ. They'll probably leave JPJ outside. They'll probably leave Pat outside. But they got a couple people they can throw inside mm -hmm. real quick and just see if they like it. You know? Well, yeah, I mean, because um, we've talked about Levi Wallace. Uh obviously yeah. Keller Witherspoon's still up here. Um, and even some of the former, uh, not former safeties, but some of the safeties. We talked Trey Norwood. He's got experience in the slot. Keanu Neal potentially bumping down in the slot. Demonte Casey potentially bumping down in there as well. So it's like, man, we, we've seen a lot of potential options, you know? Yeah, 100%. Now, so there's a lot of different options they can do. Yeah. You know? Now, do, are you concerned in any way about the fact that these dudes primarily play other positions and this would be their secondary position. Whereas when we're talking about Mallette, that's his primary thing. And obviously that's why the production was there the way that it was. No different when we're talking Mike Hilton or uh, yeah. Cam Sutton. Like, that's what they primarily do. So is there a concern there for you? Right. Nah. Um, 
No, because I think I think it's part of being the the position. I think it's mm-hmm. part of football. Like that's where it, it's more like D back now is like a position. Like yeah, D-back. it is, bro. Like, <laughs> the boy yeah, you could you do. Play. Yeah, <laughs> the nickel, the safety, the safety. You might because I was gonna say they could always do something like if they wanted to. Because, you know, Minka could go down in that nickel spot if they wanted to, and they could put another safety back there. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, You, 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 you yeah. didn't see Minka, the origin of Minka, man. He, he got yeah. all that type of stuff. I'm just saying, like, they're not in a panic. Like, they can pick that spot how yeah. they want to fit. It's just what body type they want to put there. Like, you know, I think he was kind of the body type. Marley had that body type that is, uh, it could cover it, but it fit the run pretty well. Yeah. You know, similar, similar to a Mike Hilton. Like, it's like that. I'm willing. I'm willing to really step up in this run. Mm-hmm. I don't know where this one's super duper uh, gonna step up in that run, but he give you an aspect more at the corner spot of it. You see, so it's just that. a matter of yeah, like it's just a matter of what you want to put. You know, you could put you could sneaky kind of put something and put Neil back there around there, and then it's like now you got more of a physical guy. Yeah, you know, but there's not as much as your cover guy. So it's just they might. They might mix and match it a little bit. So you might see, like, sometimes you see the big roll. You might see a little nickel, a big nickel, however they want to do it. But they'll still get what they're looking for now, out of that spot. Well, 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 being that you are the defensive coordinator, you know, at, at your college and everything like that, I mean, what would you do, okay? What, what, what would you do if this was you, if you were the D.C. of the Pittsburgh Steelers right now? How would we handle in the slot under TG's defense, man? And don't give me that three three five. I don't want to hit that at the NFL level, man. <laughs> I'm not hearing no three no. three five talk today. No, I love the three three five. <laughs> but, um, I would put something like a Neil there. I put somebody that can fit the run a little bit. Okay. Where I can get through my blitzes. I can still run all the fire zones because Pittsburgh wants to run the fire zones. Yeah. So they don't. They're not looking for that guy to be a super duper cover guy. They're looking for somebody that can blitz that spot, who can kind of fit that age, kind of almost like a. It's almost it's like, like a they're linebacker, bro. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to throw a linebacker out of it. You know. So it's almost like they try to get a four three truly out of it, mm-hmm. out of the four two. So it's like I'll put somebody like that who can fit the run, who can step up in the run. You know, um, I still run my fire zones. I still be able to run all my blitzes. I still be able to bring the safety down. You know, let's uh, go. I, I like that. I just be able to do that. Like I think so. I think they're looking for more of a blitzing type person right there. I could dig that. I could dig that. Yeah, and we have a guy we literally brought in and is a slot corner specialist in yeah. Shannon Sullivan and has done it pretty well throughout his career, particularly That's with it. the Packers. Maybe a little down year last year, but now, TG, uh, there's been some other uh, speculation now being thrown out there. Your former teammate caused some buzz on Twitter by saying... Oh, shout out to Vince, man. He wouldn't mind seeing Kendrick Green Got at fullback. Back. What do you think? <laughs> What's up, TG? What's up, TG? <laughs> You forcing that, TG? What's up, man? I'm here for it. I need you to force I'm that. Here. Go ahead, man. I think it's nice. Fourth and one, third and two. <laughs> I think it's Let's nice. Go. You know? Why not? Like, I think you move pretty well. Why not? I like I like the little move. I like the little nuance in football now. <laughs> putting these big guys that like the Y off. Hey, j- like just that. to irritate it, man. Make, make our job a little a little more hectic. Yeah. But I think you just went and got the six O line. You just went and got that in the draft. So it's you like, did, yeah. If they want to get a super big personnel, you get a twenty two and put them there. <laughs> you know, that's really big. That's big. They're gonna get a yard. It's massive. You'll get bro. a yard with that. It's massive. Yeah, you're gonna get a yard with that for sure. But what's Hayward play? Isn't Hayward the fullback? Well, he's more like we were looking at him, and um, Canada has said that he's gonna do more than just fullback. He's more of like the H back because they lined him up so in the slot. So what's Zero gonna play? Who? Was zero gonna play my man that just came in? He's here. gonna be he's a tr- gonna no, like I, he's he's like in line tight end. I look at him and Pat as like in line tight end. Whereas when you talk, yeah, I feel like he's more like the H back. I think he's more gonna be the guy that moves like well, the six Pat, lines. Pat to me is just Pat. He's the athlete. He's the guy that we gonna yeah, feature. Pat's you throw him in Darnell, the slot right? Too. Darnell's gonna be the guy where he's the guy that's lined up off. But he's blocking. You know what I mean? He might be in the protection, but you still gonna run him out throwing routes. Whereas I think of Connor Hayward, man, they'll line this dude to the slot. They they'll put him at wide off, but you hardly ever see him lined up as the in line tight end. He's usually yeah. the move guy. He'll be the motion guy. He'll line up at fullback. Yeah, He'll do like all of that Darnell's type of stuff. Gonna be that guy. 
I think Darnell's ah. gonna kind of pick that. Yeah. See, I, I thought Darnell was gonna be too big to move around and do all that. I thought they would keep him more everything. wide, wide off, but not backfield, spaced out, and stuff like that. Yeah. I think he's. I think he's a bigger Hayward. Like I think he's that wide off. You wow. move it. Yeah. Okay. You let it run. I didn't yeah. Think, okay. You hit it in the, okay. You hit it in the flat. I think that's what that's for. Okay. Um, I think they're getting back to real big boy football. You can see that coming. Yeah. They might they might change the whole they might bring it all the way back. Where but it's see, like low, low key, that's why I, that's why I looked at it like this. In terms of tight ends, Pat move Pat Fryer move, Darnell Washington, and Zach Gentry. If we were going okay. thirteen personnel, those would be the three tight ends. In terms yeah. of the fullback convo, if it was a twenty two personnel, if we trying to be athletic, it's twenty two with Connor Hayward. If we trying yeah. to be big and mean, it's twenty two with Monty Porterbaum, the 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 um undrafted free agent that we just picked up, the true fullback. Or if we were having Kendrick Green as a fullback, it would be twenty two with Green in there. And yeah. I would kind of think of it like that. That's kind of look at Hayward and his role right now. Um, a lot of teams are starting to adapt that two fullback. It's almost like a wishbone. Yeah, two yeah, yeah. Fullback uh-huh. in that tip and they're back in the dot. They might yeah. do something like that where they put them both and have them both insert because mm-hmm. it creates it creates a nice little crease if the linebackers don't fit it right. Yeah, and it makes you um, have to play a certain personnel group and on defense yeah, too. Yeah, make you get back to yeah. little football. Make you get back to big football. Uh-huh. They got the personnel where they can bring something back where it's like everybody's getting these athletic dudes at the linebacker. Now you gotta have something that can can you thump this? Yeah, yeah. Can you thump this, Chuck? I mean, they're big. They can be real big, real physical, like real control the game, eat the clock up, mm-hmm. you know, 20 passes a game, 21 play action pass, dump it off to the floor. Yeah, that could be all right. Man, you, you sound like you describe my old school Seattle football right there. Man, that, that, that's the Legion of Boom and Wrestling, them boys, huh? I just feel like that's what it's built towards. Okay, like, when you okay. look how they're building it, like, it looks like they're trying to get real Like, physical. Like, when you talk a heavy run – the low yeah, amount of pass attempts, we're gonna choke you out. Play, hey, yeah. Play action. Uh-huh. Throw it to the throw it to the back. Let him go get this three. Yeah. Play action. I'm gonna hit pick it out here. Go do something with it. I'm Run gonna make you have to tackle in Run. space. Yeah. yeah. I see what you're Run saying. Yeah. You know, like you're gonna have to deal with first and second down power, like true power. Mm. But, I mean, that might be what they're looking to do. I can see it then. So Sounds like you're on board though with Kendrick Green if he ever did decide to transition to I fullback. Like that. Look, I, I think you got to try to do something. So TG, you know, low key, the, this is what I brought up, bro. Guy. So like, yeah. you were here when Rosie Nix got here, yeah. and Rosie Rose wanted to play linebacker, right? He was in the room with me. Yeah, and then that he ultimately made the decision. Coach talked to him, put him at fullback, and we've seen the type of career that he was able to have from that. But if he were to stay at linebacker in that point in time with the room as it was his career probably doesn't go anywhere near the heights that we saw it go to and when I look yeah. at Kendrick Green you think about the guys that we done brought in in free agency Isaac Sayumalu Nate Herbig you talk about James Daniel a year ago you still got Mason Cole we drafted Ken, uh, yeah. Kevin Dyson you know a couple years ago he's still a good guy that's a starter for us you bring in uh, uh, what's, uh, Spencer Anderson another yeah, versatile it, late round draft pick <laughs> You know what I mean? So it's like all these bodies, all these guys with more capital, more cachet, and more money than Kendrick Green. It's like, do you just sit there and hope for some injuries to happen, or do you try to make the best of this scenario and potentially take that spot or try to take that spot at fullback because it is going to be open for him? Um, I, yeah. It's going to be interesting, I though, think, man. Yeah, I feel like he's at his, like, more. I think you try to see what you, it's always, the new guy's always the, Exciting guy, you know how that is. Oh, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. exciting. So it's like you got to see what the new is. No, you know. Yeah, so it's gonna be interesting, man, like to see what they do. Fullback. Who's that? No, I, I like to see my fullback. I think you give him a chance, like you save his his value. I low key like it. I'm like, bro, you can yeah. run well. You have great size for a fullback, yeah. and not every linebacker is gonna want to hit you. When you're coming from depth, that's different than you being at guard or on the offensive line, and it's a step here, step there. When you're coming from a fullback, you got time to get some speed up. You got time to think about it if you're the defender. I don't know if everybody going to want to hit that, bro. I like that on fourth and one. <laughs> Facts. Facts. It's going to get the yard, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. For sure. Now, TG. 
people have been bringing up uh, the QB3 spot. Oh, Lord. Nick Foles <laughs> just got released, and I guess that sparked some interest within Steeler Nation. Like, oh, could we use an upgrade over the undrafted free agent we just brought in and Tanner Morgan? So I came up with a theory. Um, our quarterback three is actually Big Ben, whether he knows it or not right now. Because, listen, if we have a scenario like the 49ers last year, that's who we're calling up. Am I wrong? Like if, like if Kenny goes out long term and Mitch is out long term, we're calling up Big Ben. Like I don't want any of these other guys in. We got a roster that's like championship it. ready. I think I, I think, he, I think he give it to a guy that knows what he's doing. I don't think they, I don't think you see seven anymore. <laughs> I don't think you see seven anymore. This is a panic emergency situation. Panic emergency. Uh, it is. I'm saying. Like, I'm saying Mitch and Kenny are down for the year. Who do you, like? Do you actually want Tanner Morgan steering steering think, this car? But that's the question I think we were just talking about. Because at this point, if that happens, do you ride with Tanner and try to wait on Caleb? Oh, Ooh. no, no. See, that's a, that's a no. See, that's a no. That's a no. That's a no. Well, we, because this is my day, TG. I asked him this. You brought up the Caleb Williams part, and I love that. I said, if Seven comes in here and plays like how Deke thinks he's going to play, then we should be winning the Super Bowl. So if that happens, is Seven going to be leaving? Or what, what goes on after that? And he hasn't given me an answer to that scenario just yet. So the Caleb Williams could very well be in play as well. That's what it sounds like right now, man. So you want Seven to come back and do what? <laughs> and take over the team? He says, no, no, no. Seven, no, win, is, if seven is, wins at all, what, what happens? We'd have to wait and see when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, have, you'd have pounded the table for seven for the past couple years. If you get seven to come out of retirement and seven wins it all, you going to then talk oh, that's about on we got to see I'm just saying that's on seven. That's on seven. <laughs> Here with, let's, let's hear what seven's got to say about it. <laughs> Maybe this was just like for him, bringing the cop out of retirement type uh-huh. of thing and and if it's not, gets that third ring and then goes back. I don't know. If it's not, I don't what know. Happens it, to your it's boy up to KP8. him. That, that's what we're trying to figure out. <laughs> we'll see when we get there. No comment right now, though. We'll see when we get there. And he says, see, he you, has- you got to see how Seven's feeling, though. You got to see how Seven's feeling. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh. It was like, you feeling that one, man? I'm just saying emergency panic situation. And the only reason I bring it up is because the quarterback three spot has been brought up because Nick Foles got released and everything. And everyone's wondering who should it be? Huh? I like Nick Foles right there. I think that's Uh, a good fit. I think that's a great fit. I like like it as well. Here's my point. Here's my point. I think I think if something happens per se to the first two, I think Nick Foles style is very mimicky of Kenny style. I think they got a very similar style. Okay. I think that'd be a comparing Nick Foles Kenny, just ain't good. Comparing He's just not Kenny good. to a Super Bowl MVP. He's just not good anymore. A Super Bowl MVP. Not I good. like that. I like the energy. Uh-huh. I like the energy. Sure. It's a Super Bowl sure. MVP, man. It's a good comp. The movement, yeah. the movement, the athleticism, mm-hmm. the arm. I think that'd be a good person to have in a room with Kenny as well. So I think that'd be a great. Yeah, I don't think there's a downside to it. Again, yeah. I'm talking more long term. Those dudes are out for the season. Kenny and Mitch. I'd rather yeah, have Ben than Nick yeah. Foles at the helm. I think you give it to Nick at no. that point. Not Nick. No. <laughs> that one no. TG said. I'd be so give mad. it to Nick at that point. Yeah. I'd, I'd be pissed. If Ben actually wanted to come back, <laughs> I, I wouldn't be happy about that. Hey, son. I just don't think Seven's coming back in the building. Uh, all right. So, so I, I did want to. I'm just going to throw out some facts. All right. Just, just some behind the scenes. Seven still is in really good shape. But okay. apparently Seven has thrown out his back. It, it, that's Someone it. in the chat yeah. said that. So they said that Ben on his podcast said that he, he like no, threw out a disc or something with his back. I saw him last week at the, uh, the little golf joint, and he's still physically in shape. He's not retired big, big Ben. He's He still looks like regular Ben. You know what I mean? So it's like, it might have something in there. I don't know what, what, whatever if it's going to last that long. You know what I'm saying? But at least in terms of walking out the tunnel, and people going crazy when he points up to the sky. He could do that. Yeah, he mean, could definitely do that. I just think in today's day, if your quarterback can't move a little bit, you're gonna have a. It's gonna be a long day. He's gonna get hit a lot. Yeah. And we did and see I, that sort of speak, man. 
gonna get he was banged lot. up. Yeah. He was definitely banged up after that Raiders He's game gonna get in his last season. Because we we're saw him move. That. Remember yeah. that? Remember before that Raiders game in the Lions preseason game? He was moving all over the place. Dude, he you had the one. Yeah. He, we're not going to do that. You know it don't move no Hey, chill out, chill out, chill out, no, man. Chill out, bro. Up, chill out, chill out. His hip got destroyed. <laughs> His hip got destroyed. We had the worst <laughs> line in the league. I love it. No. I love what TG is just be like, you know what? He was banged up. I can't up. do that one. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to do that. You know it doesn't move no more. <laughs> <laughs> what you asking? You know it don't move no more. Not like so his rookie like, year, but, but, I mean. But, but it could yeah, get. Yeah, you wanted to come in there and get blasted. Time out, time out. No, can, we got a good O-line now. No, what? we got a good O-line. All right. Oh, serious Man, question. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be TG, happening. Hold on. TG and Deke, serious question. I think I know how Deke's going to answer, but I'm going to ask it anyways. We all remember in the Super Bowl, Patrick Mahomes, he had that time where he had to run. He takes off. It was like 20 yards, bum ankle, but he still was moving fast enough to pick up the yards, right? Is seven capable of that type of play? No, I honestly don't no. remember that play. Wow, no. that dude, hurt. I drank a lot wow. for the Super Bowl. One of the I most a, icon- I had a lot of the biggest vodka. plays in the Super Bowl for Mahomes I had a lot of was that play. <laughs> I remember that wow. BS flag call uh, <laughs> on Bradbury and Juju. That's said, the one I remember. I, I, said, I don't remember that run. I remember the flag though. That's crazy. <laughs> you don't remember when he just fell? At one play. Oh, when he tried to the the pitch, yeah, he, he look he was trying to do the, he tried to do the Mahomes and he, yeah. No, Deke said he tripped he though. Deke said he tripped. That's why he fell. Man, it just looked like it hurt. <sighs> you know, you know he's not running no more. I'm with you. Sure, the arm might still be there, the heart, the brain, but yeah, that's gonna actually hurt. have a line now. Could, could he yeah, give but... Could he give you a Peyton Manning 2015? But you talking about he got to pitch a perfect game on the line protection, like slide left, slide right. I'm yeah. Talking, and nobody yeah, can get I'm beat. Talk- you can't get yeah, beat up I'm front. Yeah, talking about things happening. You can't like, get beat up front. Be, Slip on your own time. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to pitch a perfect game. I like, just know about- I just know he had the worst <laughs> line in the league his last season. Hey, we made hey, the playoffs. Hey, but he, he, he carried us to the playoffs. You gotta be Terrible to defense, too, that year. Hey, TG, you right, though, bro. Not only does he have to pitch a perfect game because of, like you said, you don't want him to take no shots. That's the one thing we would all agree upon because we saw that in that Raiders game. He takes and shots. throughout the season. Right. The t- yeah, take the shots, that that's going to get him. So we're not just talking about him doing it one time. He's going to have yeah. to replicate this and the O-line has to replicate this while staying healthy as well for him. Every week. Yeah. That I, O-line I see what you're saying, man. I I'm see what you're saying, that. man. Yeah, let me I see. definitely see what you're saying. I'm lucky that somehow I'm, everybody's up on the line. We're in zero. Show me. Mm. I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it. He's got pickings. <laughs> All right. I, I like it. I like it. I like it. Well, well, hopefully, hopefully this scenario does not no, it's, come about. It's Kenny's team. Kenny's the guy. I'm just bringing this up. But you don't sound like you really believe it's Kenny's team. No, it is 100. percent Unless, dude, people, no, unless it was a every, day. Everyone and seven came in here and won. Everyone brought up the quarterback three position. I'm giving uh-huh. you guys my plan for the QB three spot. But I your think plan, it's Nick Foles. Get Nick Foles in the building. Again, this, this is for if they're both out long term. This sounds like that long sabotage, term. not just for a Kenny. game or two. This sounds for a like game sabotage, or two. Kenny. Yeah, like Foles would work, or you know, even maybe yeah. Tanner Morgan would work for a game or something. So could could if Mitch, Mitch or if Mitch or Kenny are coming back at so some point in the season, Mitch stay then don't worry in about this. For five games and play bad. No, I, I said two games. If Mitch struggles for two games, Kenny's out for the year. You're calling up seven. <laughs> I can't make this up. <laughs> <laughs> two games. He said two games, bro. <laughs> 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 Come on, man. Hey, man. I, I, Maybe I'll give him two and a half. Hey, shout out to Q. Q in the chat. I'm with you. He says, Deke trying to get seven killed. You low key might be trying to get my man hurt. Bro. Now, if he doesn't want to play, he doesn't want to play. That's a different story. You know story. what I'm saying? But you, you trying to set him up right now. But I man. told you, I mean, I think we all can agree that there would be something to coming back as the hero of saving the season. It would be. This Especially story with line, this roster and everything. Epic storyline. But I think he puts himself in a lot of danger. If yeah, if you don't want to play, you don't want to play. Bro. I'm just saying that should be the first option at QB3. <laughs> if the 49er scenario happens. You call that one up first. And if that just doesn't happen, ring, man. you give, give it a ring. ring. If that, it then ring. you move on, you, you try to figure out something else. But if it's for, like I said, for a game or two, you, whatever QB3 what you have on the roster. 
I said Mason would be a good QB three. What would you call Mason before you call seven? Is what I'm asking. What is this long term or just a game or two? It's this is the long term. The long term. Hey, you're calling up Ben. I I already said this last Over podcast. Mason. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the first option. Crazy. I really think you do call up Mason. I just think Mason got the familiarity. I'm like, I probably call him yeah. Mason. I think you call Mason. That's funny. That's funny because I felt that. I think you. I think he be no, no. He, we could safe. Like, he's, no, he's here's like, my he's thing. Like watered down Mitch. You can call him up right now. He could be the QB three going through the off season stuff. Even week one QB three. Yeah. But if it comes down to Mitch and Kenny are out, <laughs> and it's Mason's time, you call Ben. <laughs> you do what you've done this whole time. Hey, bro. You sit Mason down and say, uh, sorry, sorry. Hey, it, you, ain't, it ain't you, it's us. You were right. only QB3 in name. You're actually QB4. <laughs> you remember that time we had that error when we wrote your name over Kenny Pickett as QB2 that one time and we had to like fix it? It's the same scenario right here. All right, man. <laughs> yeah. It's not you. It's us. <laughs> <laughs> you Love were it. a good player. <laughs> we, we were wrong. We, 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 we keep using you better. wrong. It's not you. It's <laughs> definitely us. It, we got to figure out how to get you better. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that was. It. Oh boy, it boy! Today. I like I'm sorry it. Sorry about how we talk to you. I like it. I like it. All right, all right. So we know that the uh, schedule does come out tomorrow. We will transition out of this day real quick, but uh, we know the schedule for the NFL is coming out tomorrow fully. But we have been getting some of the games being, you know, leaked. We're not leaked, but just some of the. Uh, Fancy games, yeah. right? You got your Black yeah. Friday matchup. You got your London matchups. I and hate, I hate, I hate that they did that. You want me to read these off? Yeah, ho, ho, ho. So he gonna I read. I hate like, that they did that. Chiefs Miami. Give, give it a second, ho, ho. TG, give me a second, real quick. All right, Deke, read off all the the match they released real quick, and then we react to it. It looks like there's eight games. Eight games released. You know, so week four, oh, Atlanta versus Jaguars oh, no, it's in It's not London. for you, TG. It's for, it's for the, the, the listeners. Oh. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Week five in London, Jaguars versus Bills. Week six in London, Go Bills. Ravens versus Titans. Week nine in Germany, Dolphins versus Chiefs. Week 10 in Germany, Colts versus Patriots. Week 12 on Black Friday. Mm. First Black Friday game. Hey, now. Dolphins at Jets. Oh. So hold on, the Jags. So the Jags got back to back. Is it? Yeah, hold on, hold on. They hold do. On, hold on. Yeah, they yeah, do. yeah. But hold on, we got one. You, you got one. We got rid of right. Two more. Uh, Two more Giants yeah. at Eagles on Christmas Day, Week 16, and then Week right. 17, Bengals at Chiefs, New Year's Eve. Let's go. Yeah. So Jacksonville, they're they're Week Five and Week Six. Uh, so Buffalo in London for two weeks. Yeah, but they're you it's know two, what they're but trying it's two, to but do. It, but hold on, it's two different stadiums though. But yeah, they've talked about Jacksonville potentially like being the first like London based team. Yeah. They trying to see what it looks like. They want to see what it looks like. Stay in London. Yeah. yeah. Just stay in London for two weeks. I wonder, like, because I've, they're at two different stadiums. I wonder what's the distance between them. Because yeah. one's at that, like, Tiding, was it Tiding It can't be too far if they're both London. Well, I ain't know if it was, like, Pennsylvania. And it's, like, Philly versus, like, Pittsburgh. I ain't know. Right. Uh, yeah. I, I guess London's the, like England's the country. Yeah, I guess yeah. London's so, the city. Yeah. It can't be too far. Even if it was just in England, like, yeah, that'd just be I what don't for, I, I don't know how it, far the distance yeah. is of England. I have no clue. Yeah, but they are out there back to back weeks, and they technically out there back to back weeks. Technically, That's it's like tough. a home game, and then it's an away game. But yeah, I'm with Either you, TG. Like, away. bro, That's don't don't tough. put me away from the crib for two weeks in another country, bro. Oh. Two weeks in London. That's- Oh, bro, bro, think about your rehab. Like, yeah, your masseuse, your car, like, oh, yeah, yeah, man, for two weeks. If you a you bachelor, might bring that out there. Sh- you might bring a lot out there. A lot of T- a lot TG, TG, I'm married with kids. I got to bring the wife That's- and the fans. We miss it. You got to miss school. I ain't going two the weeks London, without the you fam. Can't do that. You can't go to if London. you single, you might have fun, but it's like, bro, you still two weeks, long time, bro. Two man. weeks? Yeah, man. I just think that's tough. That's tough to get him that. That's tough. I hate that they did that Chiefs, uh, oh. Chiefs Dolphins in Germany. We're supposed to see Tyreek go back. That's supposed to be Low Arrowhead. Key. I ain't even peeped that. Yeah. Good call. We're good call. We're supposed to see Tyreek get back in Arrowhead. But Everybody they're both. But but that. you know that matchup. Those are all like global that's games. That's supposed to be a night game. That, that's, that's the go- be but a those night. But that's the we're trying to to expand the brand globally. So you put them names over there. You but know. you don't do that in Germany. Man, you don't. But if you're trying to a make the journey. But think about this. Miami, if, if you're trying. Miami and Kansas City might be 
to start studying. I'm feeling you, but if you're trying to potentially get an NFL team out there full time, you Germany? gotta show Germany. They are London, talking about like a European. They're literally division. talking about that. Yeah, like they're flirting with this concept. I just so, don't see how it can happen. I don't see how it can happen. See, I'm with you, but they're trying it. And I think this is the first step. We're seeing Jacksonville. Nobody thought you would have two weeks back to back in another country. What I'm saying, though, so so we're already seeing Germany, this. I gotta go to Germany. Yeah, that's where you're going to play at. Yeah. Oh, and you know we're gonna schedule that's you tough. on a bye week. All right. So whenever you go there, the following week you're on a bye. That's tough. We're gonna figure that out. Yeah. I gotta live in Germany. Bro, like, like, that's a lie. Bro, you gotta pay your taxes like that too. You know, up in Buffalo, we were playing Toronto. We'd have to file taxes in Toronto. You'd be like, bro, I hate this, bro. Like, I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Uh, but that's what you got to do. Free agency. They not. That's just tough. Right. But it's very tough. But, you, but, but think about how much the NFL wants to continue to expand. They want that. I think they. I think they do a Germany league. is be better. Like, do something but over they, there. But they used to. Remember, you used to have NFL Europe. So I feel yeah. like, man, it's only a matter of time before they figure out the infrastructure to get something back over there. Because it's a market. You know it's a market. That's the other part. And I come on like 8 in the morning. Uh-huh. So now, not only do you got 1 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night, now I also got you for the early rises. When you wake Ooh. up on Sunday morning and you get ready for church, hold up, baby. Before you cut on any of these preachers, let me take you to the book of Roger Goodell. Chapter okay. NFL, you know how he do it, and now he got you all day. Next is gonna be a noon oh, game. Are, are you missing? Is that mid morning game? Yeah. Oh, they, they, like just it. just keep. They, you see, I don't know if you I peep like this. They, they just switched up the rules now. Even on Thursday night, they're like you can get multiple Thursday nights now. They yeah. they they getting janky with it. But everybody don't get a prime time game no more. They, they changing all of it. You see what they doing? They like, bro. All right, we we played fair for a while. Now we about to expand this thing. We are not gonna put bad. We not putting bad on TV no more. We putting that, the matches that, that we want on Patriots, TV. That calls Patriots could easily be a boring game. I know. That's got the. Right how's that gonna be? How's, how's that gonna be boring with your boy there? Oh yeah, yeah you right. Your boy's there, <laughs> man. Yeah. I think my man will do it. He got it. Just could be boring. So, so why you think they put him out there? They said, hold on, we need <laughs> some life in this matchup. <laughs> AR-15. <laughs> Come on down, baby. Come on down. It just sounds boring, though. It sounds like a boring game. <laughs> but that's why it's like also at 9 o'clock in the morning. Am I, am I tripping? It's, yeah. it's the 9 a.m. one. So it's sounds literally boring. for the early riders that want that cup of you coffee. Gotta think. My man got to go out there and see a Belichick in those situations. Oh, that's you you, you you seeking comfort for your man. Don't do that. Don't, don't, I'm hearing too many don't, excuses don't now that he's a Don't seek comfort for your man. All right? We weren't hearing don't any of these excuses. Here. Here. You, told me, to you told me that, that game travels, man. You told me 6-4, 4-3, backflip, and all this travel. other stuff. If it could backflip, it could travel. If it could backflip, it could travel. That's all I'm saying. What are we talking about? <laughs> that game for some travel. <laughs> that, that game goes. That game for some travel. You know what I'm saying? So Come hey, on, respect. That game travels. So so, but you but you you not feeling the potential of AR becoming an international star? You not feeling that? I just, I just hate that he got to go over there to do it. I wish they could do it right here. <laughs> well, he got to earn it over here first. We can't throw him in prime time in the states just yet. He got to earn that. Go out there. If wish, you could do it at 9 a.m., you could do it anywhere. All right. I just wish he didn't have to go to hostile. Like, I'm with hostile. <laughs> it is not too. hostile. Stop it. It is not hostile <laughs> this, over there. They are gonna have, neutral. They are going to have every single jersey on. It is a bowl game. It is a neutral field. You and I both know this, man. They are I not. It's not going to be hostile. Yeah, I just wish we could get it down. Like, Hold on. You've know. you, you been over there. You've been across the pond. You've seen what it's like. Not the Germany, though. That's the next oh, level. Oh, my God. <laughs> now Germany's next level. <laughs> Lie. Lie. You know that London's a tough trip. That London game. That'll get you. London to get you, bro. London to get you. Right. I think what is the team that goes three days before always wins, right? Yeah, that's that's what they say. Because you ain't acclimated. Yeah, Whoever like get the chance to get acclimated first, they got the best it's chance, man. It's just a lot. Like, London's a lot. Those trips hurt. Yeah. I st- yeah, the yeah. back-to-back weeks, though, for Jacksonville, that's going to be really intriguing. But Jacksonville is the team that I do feel like of the current 32, if they're going to put one over there, it's going to be there. That second one, they're playing the Bills. Oh, yeah, I like Jaguars that Jaguars will be a little bit more acclimated to London. Yeah, though. yeah, it'd be good for them, man. It'd be good because now they get to be the – I think they're the home team that week. 
it's either it's like flip flop. I was laughing. I'm like, yeah. they in they in London back to back weeks, but technically they're away for the first one. Yeah. So what does that mean? That's what I was trying to figure. I'm like, bro, y'all in another country. Like there is no home game. How's that it's a home no, game? Every, all the fans just got whatever jersey. They Seriously, bro, like, they pulling up and, and you might yeah. see a Terry Bradshaw, you might see a Ben, and like you said, Steels ain't even playing out there. But that's okay. that's the the the, the foreign market, man. Got think out there with one jersey. Like yeah. all I got is jersey. Like I'm gonna wear this jersey to the game. Seriously, that is definitely it, bro. <laughs> Nuts. Like, I don't know. Like I don't, I don't think it matter whether you're home or away. <laughs> We're here. Yeah, and, and for Jacksonville too, man. They know they're gonna they're gonna lose that Bills one, so it don't really matter no how. <sighs> but with that being the case, I, they gotta deal with it out there. I wish they could get them in the building. They'll, is that is that the second week of London or the first week? That's the second week. They should. They, it should be they'll, more competitive. It should be more competitive. It's the second one. They'll win that. I hope they'll you're right. I, I do hope you're right. They'll win that. I hope you're right. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. So, with that being the case, though, man, still is going to get the opportunity to find out where and when we are playing. Now, we didn't get Black Friday. I wish we did. That would have been sick. That, that should have been, been a Ravens hard. game. Black Friday would have been hard, but we didn't get it. Who is it? It's the Chiefs and the um, Dolphins it's Jets. Joey. No, no, Dolphins Jets. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers. Yo, yo, you know your boy. You know yeah. your team. It's your squad. You know that should be Black Friday. <laughs> the Dolphins in the day. <laughs> what you mean? That's a great word. That's a good word. Lord. We want to see that. The people want to see that. The people want to see that? Who don't want to see the people want to see The people want to see that? Black Friday. Like, the people really want to see that? Do you want to see that people one? People want to see that. That's the one and you want to see. I think you gotta have YouTube TV now to see it too, don't you? No, no, you do. That, that's the prime. That is on Prime. Yeah. Yeah. That's a YouTube exclusive, yeah. Yeah, they probably give you a little, little Black Friday sale. Come, yeah. come by. <laughs> That's true. That's actually very true. You know they gonna have a market a little week like try that, or something man. like that. Yeah. Heck yeah. Come by this. This is good. This is good football. So, so you like they that go- matchup? That's the one you like on your Black Friday. That. You don't. You don't want I no Steelers that. Ravens on Black Friday. You ain't feeling that on Black Friday. Steelers Ooh. Raiders. Steelers they owe Ravens. Us too, any of that, man. The Thanksgiving debacle from Seriously, a couple years man. ago. I think, Maybe I they'll think give us Thanksgiving gotta, name though. Ooh, I they, think we gotta get you gotta have either Aaron or, or Tom on Black Friday. I mean, okay. not Tom, Aaron or Pat. I'm sorry, Aaron okay. or Pat. Okay, I'm so used to saying Tom. Yeah, it's crazy, but that might just be. Oh <laughs> my God! That literally, might be literally, Tom D, and Aaron. D, right there. Every that time, might, every time I pull up my phone and I see TG's name up there. <laughs> I open the text up and it's something Tom Brady related. It's that a picture. It's Tom a report. It's, a, it's another something. analyst talking about. Oh, it could be. I'm like, bro, it's not happening, man. It is not happening. It's not job. happening, man. Tom just gave 387 million back. Like y'all can have this. I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm cool. <laughs> My man just said, I want more free time. I'm seeing yeah, in the chat. A leak. How, how, a leak how? is saying we're playing Niners on Thanksgiving. That'd be dope. That'd be dope. Pick it versus party, maybe. What are your thoughts on leaks, I man? Like Do you like leaks? Uh, uh, there were a lot last year. If this is were, the only yeah, one, yeah. that's fine. I think literally over the like last the like year or two, schedule was yeah, it was like it, it was like out. seven or eight yeah. games were, and they're piecing together the schedule, yeah. and you almost already know what it is. You give me ten minutes, I can find out. Yeah, see, I I I don't like the leak. I, I personally, I'm anti. Anti leak. I like to act like I don't hear nothing. Just blah 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 blah. Because I like to be surprised. Yeah. I'm, a more, I'm more of a surprise me. If we gonna do it, let's I like, do it. I like, I like to watch it too. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's I the like point of us too. making it a, a, an event tomorrow night if we gonna know everything about it beforehand? It's like, man, what are we watching it for then? My thing is, it's just I hate. I love the beginning games because we know what we're gonna get. You know, late people get hurt. Things true, happen. true. I like beef stuff. You know, yeah. like Steelers Ravens is always a beef. You know, I did, like, one of them uh, got to be in prime time. That's the one thing. Yeah. I said, one of them I need to be in prime Seahawks, time. Seahawks 49ers is a beef. Yeah, and they both yeah. on right now too, man. Whether you're talking Geno or the fighting yeah. Brock Purdy's, so yeah. I like to see that. That'll be a good one. Now, know your boy brought up a good thing right here when he was saying, um, he basically asked, "Is Kenny Pickett better than Brock Purdy?" Well, we're gonna get the answer to that potentially if both parties stay healthy. We could get. The Kenny Pickett versus Brock Party uh, versus Brock Purdy matchup. 
I don't know why you don't think Sam Darnold gonna go down there and win that job. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Did anyone see that headline where someone in the 49ers or I don't know if it was the front office or people in the organization said that Darnold's the most talented quarterback they've had in the house? They're going to sell that. They're going to make Sam Darnold look amazing. Steve Young, Joe Montana. He can have talent. Come on. Once again. That's ridiculous. Talent. That's ridiculous. Talent is not. No, no, no. Sam Darnold's talented. The same way Anthony Richardson is talented. They're very talented. We're talking about playing quarterback, though. I think he's going to make it where he's going to throw that thing. He's going to sell that Sam Donald so hard, and he's going to package it up, and he's going to go get Caleb next year. He's going to be like, I'm giving you a number one that's elite. This is a superstar. This is too much. (laughs) Give me Caleb. Is Caleb your new Anthony Richardson? Is that what I'm sensing from you, man? He's going to make Sam Darnold look so good. Oh, my gosh. He made Rock Purdy look good. He had C.J. Beathard out there throwing that thing. He had Nick Mullen get paid. He's going to make Sam Darnold look so good, and he's going to sell it. <laughs> Yo, why are Who's you like the this, the number bro? one overall pick for Sam Darnold? Why bro? are you like if, this, bro? If it, if, it looks like, if it looks like a league, it, Brock Purdy. I mean, Purdy was looking like... I'll trade for that. People was like, oh, I don't. Some I don't think trade. someone's giving up the number one overall pick. If for Purdy, like, yeah, I ain't doing that either. Especially well, like saying, you said with a Caleb Williams coming out. TG, if he make it look like TG, that. If you got the chance to choose between Caleb, so, Williams, especially with Williams being on a rookie contract, so if, if I, you're if you're Hold choosing on. between Sam Darnold, Brock Purdy, and the yeah. potential to draft Caleb Williams, yeah, but you're you gonna might be tra- missing something. No, you think, but you the, clearly need you a quarterback, think, though. If you're well, considering on, taking Caleb Williams, well, you need a quarterback. But I would, though, because if I give you a polished, like a real good Sam Darnold with uh, Joey Bosa, you might listen to me. Now, you said or with the Joey Bosa. You ain't say that. Question. No, no, Nick no. Or Nick Bosa. You ain't say that at first. You Nick said Bosa. I'm you, gonna at, give first, you something else, at first you said you. the number one for Sam Darnold as a straight up. So let's think about it, bro. Sam Fran has the number one player. They're about the. They're probably the most. They got the most best player in the t- in the league. Yeah, he just won the deep one. Right, right, right. I'm yeah. with you. Like they got the number one linebacker, the number one tackle, the yeah. number one running back. The I'm number. With you. One, they got a lot of that. I'll give you. I'll give you Christian McCaffrey, and I'll give you a polished Sam Darnold. Give me the first pick. You Actually, I like. Him. I'm not tripping on that. Yeah, if it's McCaffrey, yeah. but Darnold got to live up. I don't or think I Darnold's say, gonna do I might, enough to do I might that, think bro. Something weird, like. I get we don't what did they draft this year? They might already got this in the plans where they're like, here, I'll give you <laughs> Trenton Williams and Sam Darnold. Give me your number one pick. You might bite on that. You doing all that for Caleb though? I think it's gotta be Bosa. I think you're doing a lot for you, Caleb. You definitely need to include okay. Bosa. Maybe some future think, picks I too. I don't like how you said that. Like Caleb is one of these converse. Well, well, yeah. T T G, this is my problem. All right. You you not full deep territory just yet. But you sold me on Anthony Richardson the same yeah. way that you're talking about Caleb. I'm Caleb, just trying to figure Caleb, out how can both of those things be the same, that. though. Like, Caleb's like, hey, I'm never coming home. I'm okay. going to stay for good. Okay. That, because that, because, hey. because the way you talked about AR-15 made me feel like that's how you thought about him, too. Yeah, you go home, for, you go home with AR, though. Okay, okay. Okay, because because ca- Caleb, we, we've seen what Caleb has done collegially. There is no conversation. There is no, oh, he could be better professionally than he was here. Like, hey, he's just a late bloomer. Oh, hey, man, you got to get into a better program. Like, we've seen Caleb's production. Hey, Anthony Richardson has the question mark. You say he's going to be in a conversation with Mahomes. Yeah, he's one of those. He's in those right. combos. He's okay. Like, hey, his player comparison might be Mahomes. So if you got a chance to get that, you're really gonna trade. You're gonna trade yeah. that away for Sam Darnold and a Trent saying, or Sam make, and a CMC or Sam and a Bosa. I don't. I, maybe you might. There's no way Shanahan's Darnold. gonna have Darnold doing doing yeah, it like that. I, I don't see <laughs> that, bro. <laughs> then maybe it's Trey. Maybe it's Trey Lance that I make look like that. Now I'm Trey Lance. Them, Trey Lance, you got a chance. I Trey Lance, you got Trey a chance. Lance, Trey Lance, Christian McCaffney, and I give you a pick. But look, if Trey Lance actually come in here and ball out, what's the point of going to get to Caleb Williams then? I give you Trey Lance, Christian McCaffney, and the first round pick. But if Trey Need balls out. out, what's the purpose of going to get uh, Caleb? Because I'm going to get that. <laughs> Even if Trey Lance balls out, we don't know if Trey yeah. Lance is going to suck per se. And they say, man, this Caleb is it. This is it. It's not even about what. This is it. We've seen that. <laughs> 
Who are you trading for Caleb Williams right now? Like, if you had Herbert, would you trade him for Caleb Williams? Yeah. Oh, my. Burrow. You want to walk down Lawrence. that road? We, 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 Burrow. That road. Okay, let's, let's Burrow. do it then. Burrow. Burrow. Joe Burrow. Let's do it. Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. I keep Joe. All right. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, that one's a tough one because all right, all right. You'll, you'll get Williams for can, can 15, 20 years. Can, can you pick it? Here, take it. Patrick Mahomes. The running back, too. Give me that. Hey, bro. Why you have, see, Najee's catching a straight. Najee ain't do nothing to nobody today. <laughs> Najee right. was over I'll in Mexico with Canelo Alvarez, and you over I, here. He trying to have chips and sauce and some guac right now, and you didn't pop him off from over here. Hey, That's crazy, TG. Devontae's the that is crazy. Box. Javante Davis is the face of Boston. Hi, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm not knocking it. Okay, so the the two he said no to was Mahomes and Burrow. Yeah, Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. Oh yeah, Hurts. Hey, Jalen Hurts. Trade it. Oh, <laughs> Trevor Lawrence. Trade it. Oh my. Mahomes. So I guess it's just Mahomes Trade. and Burrow. It's literally just Mahomes and Burrow. <laughs> Jeez. Mahomes and Burrow. Hold everything up. else, is, everything oh, else needs to you win. You thought about Burrow a little he, bit. Though, I felt like he thought about it. He didn't even think about Herbert. He was just like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely trading that. Hey, Mahomes right. is about to get that big contract, though. Yeah. yeah you have Caleb Williams that. on that rookie deal. Does that they make you change your mind? That. Man, I might. Like, <laughs> hey. Bur- yeah, Burrow's about to get his deal, right, too. Hey, 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 what, what about your boy Gino for Heisman? Right. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? I'm trying to think. That's, is there anybody? All what right. is Caleb? Is it? This is it. This is it. What about... So, any of these young quarterbacks that just got drafted, right? Your CJ Stroud, your Bryce Youngs, <laughs> Anthony Rich, all them dudes too. Nobody, nobody safe except Mahomes? Caleb. Sheesh. Caleb. Yeah. This is it. Who's waiting on this? So that's the guy, bro. It's on PCU. So yeah, bad. if you anybody that's like, oh, that's gonna change this, room to stay. Somebody's gonna be in, like, somebody's gonna do this. Somebody's hey, hey, TG yeah. man, you you the type of GM get people fired, man. All right, you be selling a lot of dreams over there, man. You you be the way you talk about these guys, cause I'm over here like, bro, I can't tell. Who's going to be the more elite of uh, the we, elite we, quarterbacks we, we between Caleb and Caleb? No, Josh we didn't. Allen. Oh, well, okay. Oh, yeah. What about Josh then? Okay, Josh. Are you throwing him in there too? Josh Allen? Yeah, you throw him in here too, right? Yeah, I'm not trading that. Whoa. Oh, okay. I'm not that. I'm all right, trading. all right. I got another one for you. Lamar, because we ain't bring him up. Lamar. I'm not trading that neither. Ooh. I'm keep, I'm four keep, names. I'm going to keep Lamar. Okay, okay, okay. Gonna, Ooh. Keep, let's stick in the division. I'm keep Lamar. We got I'm another one. I got another one for you. Yeah. What? But, Deshaun. But, Deshaun. But. Oh, oh, you got a butt? What's your butt? What's your butt? But if he, if he look crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> what do you mean? If he even blink, man, what? No, in fact, I would trade that. I would trade that. And I love that. I wow. love that. Okay, I so it's three. Well, Mahomes, right, right, Burrow, and Allen. All right, all right, Deshaun. Deshaun Watson. Yeah, I'm trading that. <laughs> so what, you really changed your mind on Lamar? Yeah, I'm trading that. Explain this to me. Because go what's the difference between Caleb. Caleb and Lamar right now? In terms of is Caleb coming in Lamar. day one oh. and he's better than that? Different game. I'm going okay. with that style. I see what you're saying. I, love, I see what you I mean. love it. You know, because it, it's definitely it. more of the Mahomes style than yeah, the Lamar I style. I feel what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, go throw it, and I got you an Odell around here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this dude, God, I he said, I, I love Lamar. He said, I love Lamar, but he got to go. <laughs> God, I love it. Like, like Lamar said, I want to throw for six thousand yards. I think that's doable. I think that's crazy. I think that's crazy. I think he has the weapons in there. I get what he's trying to say, but I don't think that's the. He still got to be Lamar. Yeah. Take off. Like I don't think I think weapons are like a. I think Lamar is a beat you, beat you here, hold that. You go like a point guard that yeah. scores. It's like a Kyrie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I see what I mean? you mean. Yeah. Like I get, I'm a score here. When I pass it to you, I need you to now you get a bucket. Down. But I'm the offense. Yeah. yeah. But I'm the offense. Yeah, I like, see I what you're saying. 
Yeah, Lamar's like a that. So it's like, I think, I think Caleb comes in here. He's like a true dime. Those are di- here. Yeah, hold that. He's the Jason Kidd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. CP3, like I'm a gonna... high end, like true point guard that can score, but is going to facilitate. Yeah. You can do everything you want. Run the. Whole... I see what you mean. Yeah, I got you. He got Jordan Addison drafted first round. Facts. Yeah, oh come on. I mean, he, 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 on, you saying dude. he he made Jordan, huh? Because before come that, on. Jordan yeah. Jordan was just a he guy. What you telling me, right? Jordan was just a guy this where he was at, man. Take the you know, day. Day. No. that's what you said, TJ. This is the worst day. You know what I'm saying? Like, like with a he, he, he changed his career. I got what you mean. Yeah, yeah. He he never had success. Made it worse, actually. He never had success prior to joining. I, I, I see stuff, what you're man. saying, though, man. I it's see what you're saying. What Caleb did, did the Jordan round. Addison stuff. He said he said he rose up to a first rounder. Man, he should be thanking him. That's what he said. He said that in the first round. He said, "Give me your agent fee. Let me get your three percent." That's what he said. Didn't he put Drake London in the first round last year? He put him. He he yeah yep, yep, he yep, wasn't on yep, USC. Yep, he he did. He, he all the Oklahoma, but he did it, man. Yep. He put him boys in the first round. Yep. yep, he did. He did, man. Distributed. C- Caleb's that guy. The guy. I was listening to that Andy Reid story today. I don't know if you heard the Andy Reid story about how they heard about Mahomes and how he loved them. I'm like, no, I, I did not hear the story. Already. I didn't hear the story. Yeah. Yeah, how he loved Mahomes. Yeah, I heard about him from uh, Brett Villain, the GM. Brett, okay, okay, yeah. He out at the time. And he basically was like, yo, this guy's going to be everything. And they were on him for a, whole, a long time. Okay. That's how this dude. This okay. guy's everything. I'm telling you now, because you're going to hear all the draft hype in a few months. And you're going to be like, oh, man, I didn't know. I told you at first. With it's Caleb Napoleon, Williams, Napoleon. Well, well, you you were the first one, Anthony Richardson. Wait, we already. This is like yeah. Trevor Lawrence. We know he's gonna be the number one yeah. overall pick. No, I told. I was telling people about. No, it's not. This is way bigger than that. It could be. I I just we just know he's the number one overall pick right now. Like going into the season, that's how it was with Lawrence. Was it? All right. Unless like uh, unless you were I mean, were you no, calling this no, at no, Oklahoma? Who? When Caleb Williams was at Oklahoma. Were you calling? Because I know yeah, y'all, I y'all, you both from Maryland. I, I know you got you, that connection. I told you when he was at Gonzaga High School. Yeah, yeah. To do that. They, they okay. both from Maryland. They both from Maryland. Okay. Yeah. I told you when he was yeah. at Gonzaga High School. That no, no. Was hey, hey, look, look. Yeah. Any Maryland prospect, any Maryland prospect, I know you're, you, I know you hip <laughs> to saying, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just saying. He said Oklahoma. I'm talking yeah. about Gonzaga. Yeah, I'm going to say, I already peeped that. I was like, yeah, yeah. They, they, that's, that's, that's from the crib, for your crib, not my crib, but that, that's, a, that's a crib dude for you, man. So I get it. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. I just think you got all the intangibles you're looking for. I like I it. Think, I think he checks all the boxes you're looking for. I'm excited to see what it looks like. So outside of three dudes, no QB is safe from Caleb is what it sounds like. Oh, 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 there is actually one quarterback that I have not asked you about. I've been saving this one specifically for this question. The Kirk Cousins. <laughs> Which you I doing? heard they tried to trade up in the draft to go get. Oh uh, my to go god! Go get Bryce. I, I saw that too. I don't know what y'all talking. About. I don't see no reports. It sounded like they was it, like. It sounded like it sounded like it sound like they saved themselves from themselves. They was like, "You about to make a catastrophic mistake? Let me help you out here." It sounded like they were ready to give up everything. To get I don't know, know what you're talking about. I ain't hear none of that, man. I ain't hear none of that at all. Nope. <laughs> give me. You saw our whole future for both types. Nope. Like, uh-uh. Gonna... I ain't seen none of that. I ain't. Nope. I saw them say. They like, literally, they literally were like, you know what, man, we're about to make an awful mistake here. In Kirk, we trust, we do like that, and they yeah. made a great decision. I think they made a very, very wise decision. In Kirk, we trust. Yeah, it's the yeah. captain. It's Captain Kirk. Come on, man, Kirk will change. Yeah. Everybody know that. Don't no one do it like one o'clock, Kirk. If I can get one o'clock, Kirk or London, Kirk, I feel great. I'm just throwing it out there, man. Yeah, yeah that's 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 how I live with Kirk. All right, but the last one I got before you know we get up out of here. It's not football related, but we mm. did see little Bronny James commit to USC, nice. fight on. He'll be out there with nice. your guy, Caleb Williams, you know? Nice. So, 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 so what was your thoughts on young Bronny Hold James, on. man? There's way more than that. We oh, no, 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 no. Talk about you got Lil Robin. Robin. I'm about to say Lil Robin. Yeah, Lil, Lil Dennis going out there. They got USC? the come on. Yeah, yeah. He just, oh, he's, wow. tra- he's transferring now. You got the number one, uh, I want to say uh, number one shooting guard, I want to say this. Uh, another dude that just committed there at uh, USC. Ah. So, like, all three of them right now going together is getting a little LeBron buzz effect. around. They're making a big three. Yeah. Or trying to, at least. The Bronny effect. Yeah. <laughs> the Bronny effect. That's LeBron James Jr. LeBron. <laughs> People want to play with LeBron. It's still with LeBron. So, so it's the Bronny thing. Okay, okay. The Bronny effect. Do, do you like the move for Bronny? Or, or do you think he should have went yeah. somewhere else, man? Nah, cool move. Stay at home. 
Stay close to home. Yeah. Still come to the Laker games. Uh. You know. Oh yeah, he gonna be a star. Yeah, and, and they said his nil was valued at was it like yeah. five. It was like star. five. It was like the largest nil valuation deal. More than that. Oh, Why would absolutely. you leave the city of stars? It's stars. It's With your dad stars. being in LA right now, yeah. up three one versus them Warriors too, man. With a chance to close it out. You right, man. You right. You yeah. right. I gotta keep my same trainer. We doing all the treatments. Yeah. The trainer. All that. That's what we said because he's moved around basically his whole oh, life. His whole life, yeah. Cleveland, Miami, back to Cleveland, L.A. So yeah. But he's but he's not really moved around. Or you gotta think like <laughs> LeBron got the castle in L.A. I'm sure he had. A, didn't he have houses on both coasts? So it's yeah, like, but but no, we, we're saying in the sense of like growing up, spending ten years in the same like city. You know, like he ain't gonna have that. Because he was in Cleveland for a while with his pops. He was in Miami for a while with his pops. Went back to Cleveland, then went to L.A. So that's all. That, but yeah. I'm saying, yeah. like, they still, like, lived in L.A., though. Oh, yeah. I mean, you it is Bron I mean? we talking about. Yeah. Bron, like, Bron, Bron is it's, it's, it's a whole nother convo. Like, right. yeah, it's just totally different. Totally different. I think it's a good spot for him. Right. I, I'm excited to see him go to the pros. I want to see what LeBron do at that point. Mm. I want to see him pull it off. Mm. I want to see him really get out of that. You think it's a different team? It doesn't happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. He's gonna go to like the Trailblazers or something. <laughs> what is like? It's gonna. He's gonna. Do oh, there is nah, talks in Orlando, bro. It's gonna be Orlando. No, here's this one theory I heard. You know how the NBA is trying to expand. Oh, one yeah, of the I've teams that, is yeah. Vegas, another one yeah. Seattle. I've I think LeBron's that. gonna try to get ownership of Vegas, Vegas, yeah, and then he'll draft his son. Yeah, I did see that. Mm-hmm. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, the bankroll long. It is Bron. Seattle needs a team. But Bronny can go to the league after next year, though. Yeah. So I mean, this would have to happen really yeah. quick. I don't. I don't yeah. know if that's possible. Yeah. Unless he that wants to stay at USC but then he for a couple stay. years. I mean, yeah. if you're paying like that, sometimes it might make more but sense. Bron ain't for him. getting younger though. No. This is also he true. Go to the league. He gotta go to the league. It's one year done here. One and he done. But didn't LeBron sign yeah. some type of extension? LeBron said he's trying to play. Like he ain't, he ain't slowing down. But that's like with the Lakers. Not, can he get out of that? He's trying to play with his son though. Yeah. I think yeah. Bronny yeah. got two years. Two years in college, then he gonna make the jump. When you're done here, <sighs> LeBron, he gotta be in the league. That's the whole point. Oh, let me see what his contract is. Yeah, let's see. Let's, let's see what he's talking about, man. Cause I mean, LeBron's contract would affect that. Yeah. Uh, and it depends on where Bronny goes. Is he gonna be a good enough prospect to actually go in the lottery? Yeah. If he goes like late first round, then the Lakers could just take him. Just take him. Not going late first. Round. That's LeBron James Jr. He's going in the top ten picks. Because you got a chance to get LeBron if if, if Lil yeah, son comes. Yeah, <laughs> you you know uh, they want to play together. I gotta take Lil <laughs> one. I gotta take I'm Junior. That. That's gonna change my whole franchise forever. <laughs> right? Yeah, it looks, coming to us. We're, our ticket sales are gonna. Looks go like crazy. he's got a player option for twenty four, twenty five. Oh, it's a wrap. So he's he's locked <laughs> in. <laughs> He's locked in with the Lakers next year. He can leave whenever he wants. Player so option after that. It's so yeah. Wrap. Oh, it's a wrap. That's how he planned it. He said, "I'm gonna stay out here. You gonna play at USC? I'm gonna pull up the oil. I got your games. I'm pulling up. You the still court game. side here. And then after that, where we moving to, son? Jeez. Let's do it. You might we'll be over. right. We're gonna take over our program. You might be right. I see it. I see the writing. I can yeah, see it. Up. And if Brian had saying, to decide, do you retire? No, 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 because I don't think he would retire. Nah. If they made and him he where he would... He could sit there for like two years, get him ready to go, yeah. and give him the crown. Seriously. He'll pass on the ball. You see LeBron sub himself back you in already... when he wants to... I, I did peep that. It was it was a great decision, too. It, it helped us. I appreciate him. I appreciate him for that. Game. You know? Yeah, so it's going to be interesting, though, man. All right, all right. But yeah, man, I think we get your thoughts on that, too. <sighs> but I like it, though. I like it. So... We all going to get ready to wrap that, wrap this part up. Got baseball tonight, so I got to get ready to tap up out of this thing in a few, too. But, man, I'm trying to think. Was there anything? You had anything else on your ND? No, nah, that was got it. Anything, anything, any last thing you had on your NT, Jizzle? Oh, man. I like it. All right, he's still over I here. Jersey. I got the jerseys for you, man. Oh, no, I'm not doing the bet. I'm not doing the bet. No, I already thought about it. We're, not, we're definitely not doing the bet. I took it off the wall. I'm ready for you. He said, I took it off the wall. <laughs> we can do cash. I'll do cash. I'll do 100 per each uh, bet we made or whatever uh, little thing. 100,000? No. Oh, I just figured I'd ask. Just a little, little scene. I figured I'd ask. I need something different. I'll keep thinking. Mm. 
He don't want to tap your pockets. All right. Okay. Okay. Don't okay. stop running from me on the Madden, man. It's getting no. We're doing it. We're Rod- doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Uh oh. Yeah. I'm not running. I'm we're start- doing it. We'll do it. I'm starting to think about Aaron Rodgers with the Jets. Like I'm starting to transition. You know. I'm- you could do What's that for up? Madden 24. I like the Steelers for Madden 24 a lot. I gotta see how they rate them. Darnell. How do somebody we'll find line? out how I get to the Madden raids, man? I'm trying to like. I need. I, I need to talk to them. I want a little opinion too. Oh. They say Ocho. Ocho the guy right there, right? How do I try out for that? How how do you try out for that? I don't even know. I just I mean when Ocho popped up on the scene with it. Yeah. I don't I'm know. trying to get a jacket and all that. That'd Cause be he de- yeah, and Ocho be pulling yeah. up everywhere with it. He's he's like official. Yeah. Man, somebody at the mat ring. There it is. There it is. Y'all heard what he said. <laughs> at them boys. But my dog, we definitely appreciate you. And we're gonna definitely spin the block and do this again. But as always, man, definitely appreciate you, bro, from the heart. Uh, Peace, bro. Peace.